Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. In this video, we're going to be looking at the view mode inside Universal Audio's Luna. If you like what we do, it would really help us if you liked and subscribed. And don't forget to click on that little bell button down there and you'll be notified of any future videos that come out from the Studio Rats. The view mode is accessed up here, right next door to your transport and your BPM. So what we can choose here, we can either choose our timeline display, which is basically our range window here. The next icon across is the mixer display. So that switches to our mixer. And the next icon across is a show and hide window views. So let's go back to our timeline window and let's click on the window views again. I want to start from left to right. So if I click on my tracks here, you'll see the leftmost window disappear. Now this is also accessed straight from your inserts or your sensor. If I click here, that will open up again. The next button is focus. Now focus is the actual mixer control which appears in your timeline view. So if I click on that, that will then disappear. So if you need more real estate on your screen, you can just take this out so you get a wider view. The next button to push is info. Now, if you look down the bottom of the screen here, you'll notice something that's a little bit like the control panel in your UAD software. You've got your sample rate, you've got your clock, and you've got these other controls here, render, render IO, memory, and also some of the DSP information. Now, I like to have that on, so I'm gonna leave that up. And now the last one is monitor. And if I click on that, you'll see the right-hand screen, my VU meters, and my monitor control disappears. So let's turn that on. And now we can come over here to see what some of the buttons do. Now, a lot of this you'll be used to if you've owned UAD software before. So if we click on control room, this will open our talkback and our control room preferences, our dim amount and our talkback. And we can actually use talkback just by pushing the little button on the screen here. Now, if I go to my Q outputs, so on Q1, as you can see on this top line here, it says mirror to line five and six. So I've got my outputs five and six at the back of one of my Apollos going straight into a headphone amp, which is over in my vocal recording area. Now Q2, I've got this mirrored to none, but this is set up to headphone mix two on my Apollos. Now the other controls we've got down here, which are really handy, we've got a mono button and we've also got a mute outputs as well. So if we need to mute the Apollos output, we just click there and it instantly mutes it. I hope you guys got something out of that. Now don't forget to like and subscribe and you'll be notified of any future videos that come out from the Studio Rats. I'm Paul from the Studio Rats and I'll see you next time. Cheers.